Alright ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and today I've got the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 here with me and we're gonna uh, pimp it up a little bit, we're gonna change the scales and add uh, some other things uh, to this guy so we, let's start um, with a T6 uh, bit and uh, we're just gonna unscrew the pocket clip right over here and uh, one, two, three and this is out very nice so this can be here okay then you're gonna need a t8 bit for the handles screws and this is out and this is out so we're gonna do a little bit of maintenance a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of pimping then you're gonna need the t10 for the pivot screw beautiful and this is also out so just rotate because this is gonna be kind of like stuck with the lanyard tube uh, like this okay good blade is out washer is there let's do it like this okay then uh, yeah, this was easy. All right. So usually one one side is just stuck. So in this case, I don't have the tool, the SDK lanyard remo Oh, look at this. It's out. So you don't need to do any uh cuz I had my pliers ready here, but no, we don't not going to need any of that. Beautiful. So, let's just clean this out cuz we're going to store them away. All right, and that's one liner over here, and then we're gonna need to remove with a T8 uh, screws from here. Okay, so this is out, and another T8 screw right over here. Okay, so this is tight uh, with the standoff. As you can see, it's spinning. So in order for, uh, for us to do a successful removal, we're gonna do, you're gonna double up this uh, cloth and just put it like in between the jaws of the pliers, like so. So you kind of like, have some padded uh, uh, jaws and then we're just gonna pinch this okay and squeeze it like this see so we're not gonna scratch anything hopefully and then like so we should be able like this There we go. Beautiful. So you see, nothing happened to the standoff and we are good to go. So, uh, stop in, sorry. And uh, then you're going to need another T10 for the other pivot screw right over here and this is over here washer goes there we're gonna clean up everything liner goes here and we have another screw right over there so let's just clean this up before we put this guy away beautiful all right so now we're gonna need a alcohol swab All right, and let's just clean up the liners like so. All the holes like that. We can also clean the, this area of the blade from any gunk or any residue oil. Let's just clean also the blade like that. Okay, you can just 
dry the blade out. All right, so this is done. Uh, let's do the other liner. Okay, just like so. All right, this is done. All right, cool. Then we're gonna need the other scales, the new one. So we're gonna use these scales from um, Aramis Ahmedov. Pretty cool carbon fiber scales. So let's start uh, from this side here. All right, so this is gonna go right over here. This is going right over here. Beautiful. Um, this guy can go in like that. So I see a little bit of uh, play already. So there's gonna be some rattling guys going on here. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, definitely it's gonna rattle. Uh, so we have an option to put some Teflon around here, but let's see it first how it goes, all right? So that is one, and then also, you know what? Because we have, uh, we're gonna use uh, also a backspacer, which is gonna go here. Maybe this guy will keep everything in place. All right, and we're gonna go, we're gonna use also a set of uh, uh, custom uh, screws. These are gray, anodized uh, titanium screws. And this is a deep carry pocket clip also with a nice uh, texture to it. Okay, so let's do this. So we have to use this standoff in this position over here with the, uh, so these are gonna be the screws for the clip one and two. All right, so actually we can put the screws away because we are not gonna need any of the black screws. And we're just gonna need the new screws. So one, two, three, four, one, two, sweet. So we, are going to do the standoffs, standoff actually, it's one, with this screw over here. So just put this in like so, and this goes in like here, and just like this, just hold it and uh, Okay, kind of. We can use the same method, but we can do it after, okay? And then we can do this second screw here, like so, with the stop pin over here. So this is gonna be over here, and this is in. Very good. So we're gonna tighten this guy after. So that's in, that is in. Then we have to do the pivot with a T10, like so, it's gonna go here. And you have to use the keyed in area, which is only on one side of the liners and find the, uh, yeah, you see this is a D shaped, uh, pivot, okay, uh, only on one side, not on the other side. So this side only has a cut out, kind of cut out, I mean, it's D-shaped and it's gonna fit like perfectly like this, but actually, sorry, almost forgot, you need to place the washer first. Okay, so the side is here. So like so, you just, place the washer and then from the other side you just this is keyed in 
all right like so and just yeah tighten this guy down looking good and this is in place all right so this is done uh, that is done we are needing we're going to need the backspacer and the which can go here this guy can go right over here okay very nice this we won't need anymore so it can go away all right let's see mm, let's use a little bit uh, of uh, nano oil so in this case we can use the like a lighter weight uh, like a five weight just uh, over here a little bit a little bit around the pivot and let's do just a tad in this area over there very nice so uh, this blade uh, can be in this position over here we can just you know what let's just do it a tiny bit also over there very nice so this is going to be held in place so this is gonna be over here actually since this is kind of loose let's do it on this side all right so we got everything in place so this guy can be actually done like so so align the backspacer and then this is gonna be kind of like here all right so we just need um, pivot screw right over here so let me see okay very very nice and we're gonna do the other side so this can be like that very nice uh, we need a T8, yes, we have, and uh, it's gonna be this guy over here. Let's try not to strip anything. Yes, that's very good. And also here, the other handle screw like so very good so now since this is spinning we're gonna need another t8 uh, bit which is here got this nice bit uh, selector these are weha uh, bits they work pretty well so let's see let's actually you can just keep this guy closed like so so one side very gently so we don't want to scratch anything and this is in and that is in too let's do this one and this one over here okay and just gently like you can do one side and then you can do the other side beautiful okay and now let's do uh, the pivot so pivot t10 like so and uh, let's see it's tight really cool and we're gonna need uh, now just the pocket clip uh, which is here let's see okay so this fits but it's gonna be a little bit raised uh, I suspect hmm let's try because we don't want to use this right 
Nah, it's gonna be kinda ugly. So we're gonna need a T6 for this. Like so. Let's see. That's one. No, it's not in. Okay, and one in, and the other one is like that. So this is not like 100% fitting. Let's see, where's the hole? Right here. All right. Okay. So this one is good, it's in. This other one, it's not really 100% in. Oh, yeah, now it is. Actually, it's not too bad, guys. Maybe we can just squeeze it a little bit more, like so. And this side, let's see, that's done. Ah, okay, now we are in business. Beautiful. All right, let's see the action. It's a little bit stiff. Okay, let's see, maybe we can perfect a little bit the action and tightening just, yeah, this was pretty tight. Let's untie just a little bit. So there's still no blade play. Oh yeah, guys, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, very, very nice indeed. Uh, how does it look? Let me know in the comments, guys. I think this is, um, I think this is pretty cool. So you guys got get uh, like a nice deep carry pocket clip, which is gonna hide everything and. Uh, Scales are looking pretty good, I think. They're nicely contoured with some milling action going on. And overall, uh, it's giving the PM2 a pretty cool look. What do you guys think? I like it. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.